All right, guys, last time you saw this Sequoia, we gave it a 3.5 CBI off-road rating. We said we would fix it. Let me show you how we did it. All right, so starting up front, we got our CBI Covert bumper with bolt-on bull bar. Uh, this is a huge benefit to this vehicle. We dinged it before in the previous video because the ground clearance was pretty bad and this was just all plastic. So we've gotten rid of that. This is uh, awesome protection. We got steel construction here. We got a 20 inch light bar and a worn 10K winch in there. So that's gonna be huge. And also something as simple as some recovery points right here on the front of this vehicle. So we've drastically improved this. We got more clearance, we're stronger, and we're equipped with some accessories up here. And we still maintain all the factory sensors and everything works just as Toyota intended it to be. So as far as protection underneath, we talked about our splash guard that we call it, that was mounted right here. It was just a plastic piece that came from the factory. So you can see we have armored the entire belly of the Sequoia. It is protected all the way back past your catalytic converters. So those are protected from uh, any damage or theft. You're covered there. And this is just amazing. We also have our lower control arm skids. So those are gonna be protected as well. Just a great setup under here. All right, so moving on, now we're talking about wheels, tires, and suspension. So wheels, you can see we're, we're running the Method uh, bronze wheels. It's really cool, unique look to this vehicle. And then the Toyo Open Country MT tires. These are a super aggressive tire. They look great, and they're gonna really off-road like a dream. The suspension on this is a Toy Tech two-inch lift with camber upper control arms and rear trailing arms. And the ride is awesome on this vehicle. It's gonna handle really good off-road. We're excited to take it out and test it. All right, so you see we're running the Rigid 360s as a ditch light. And then moving up top, we've installed our Prinsu roof rack. Now this is awesome. It's gonna give you tons of capability to store stuff up on your roof. You can see we have the rooftop tent, max tracks, and a 40 inch light bar. And you still have the function of your sunroof. So that's gonna be huge. Down low, we have our side steps. So this is all steel. These are really strong. They're not classified as a slider, but they are very strong. And we have the color matched accent plate in there highlighting the CBI logo. Just really adds to the uniqueness of this build. All right, so now we're at the back of the vehicle. Now this is our dual swing arm rear bumper. I mean, this thing is loaded down. It looks amazing. You're getting tons of protection with this bumper. You're gaining clearance and the features you get from a full size spare to storage on this side. We got the Roto Packs power tank and a high lift jack all on one swing arm. That is huge. The protection wraps around the side. So being a larger vehicle, you're gonna wanna cover up those rear quarter panels. We have that protected. You still maintain all the factory sensors with this setup and all the factory tow ratings, which is really huge for a larger vehicle. In addition to looking totally awesome, these swing arms serve an amazing purpose. So storage, you can see the full size spare, all the goodies on this side. We have camp tables, so setting up, meal prep, all that is gonna be great. You have those. The best part of this swing arm setup is these swing arms are bolt on. So you can use them on a trip when you need them. And if you don't want them in the way, you can unbolt them, take them off for a more factory look. And I also mentioned tow ratings. You might say, where's the hitch? We've got you covered right here, factory tow specs. As we mentioned in our other video, storage is something we love about this vehicle. It's loaded with storage. We've done a few things back here. As you can see, we have our Dometic fridge with a slide installed. So getting to everything is gonna be a breeze. We also have installed a Dometic storage container right here and water container. So we still have room for other gear back here without sacrificing a whole lot. So up front in the cockpit, we haven't changed a whole lot. We did add an eight position S pod in order to control all the lighting we added, plus additional accessories we add in the future. And in the console, we took advantage of how much space we have here. We threw in a Midland radio and we got our winch controller right here, just readily available. We can grab in a hurry if we need to. All right, all in all, this vehicle has been a blast to build out. We've had so much fun with this Sequoia. We started at a CBI off-road rating of 3.5, and I mean, we have just blown the scales with this thing. It is awesome. It's ready to go. You guys are getting the sneak peek preview. This is going to SEMA tomorrow, so my job is done. I'm out. That was good.